In a communication from the chair, Speaker Kenneth Marende took on the executive accusing it of laxity and not taking the house business seriously. It will appear that the legislature has done its part and now awaits the necessary complementarity by the executive. Mr. Speaker. Finance Minister Huru Kenyatta has remained reluctant of tabling the two bills that would legalize the pay hikes for the legislators, maintaining that Treasury had no money, a move that has not gone down well with the MPs. The appropriate forum for the minister to express this position will be the floor of this house. That decision is made and then we go into a situation whereby the executive thinks that they can ignore resolutions of the house. The member who alleged that MPs were being bribed must answer to this house. And threaten sanctions if Uhuru does not act accordingly that it is a legitimate expectation of this house that the bills will be published or that otherwise some explanation will be forthcoming. Since the debate which continues to raise uproar from the public, parliament business has nearly stalled with MPs boycotting sessions despite declining to adjourn until after the referendum. On several occasions, the house had to adjourn early since there was no business to transact. For now, it all depends with how the government will deal with the two bills, even as it prepares to table the appropriations and the finance bill before Parliament, which MPs have threatened to shoot down if things don't work their way. Chris Dero, Citizen Level 9, Nairobi.